up a Norwich box and who are Graham Everett. It's rare to get, get catch up with yourself. I seem to interview everyone else and not yourself. I'm a busy man, <laughs> looking after everybody. That's that, you know that's how it is. But um, I, I don't like to say too much. Still, I you know just um, I'm, I'm happy to speak to you. I think what you're doing for our boxing is brilliant as well. Um, so I have to thank you too for that. Uh, it's helped everybody. It's, you know, it's, it, it, boxing is a business as we know, and for what you're doing for us, I'd just like to put it on record that I really appreciate that, and so do all the, so do all the fighters and promoters. Well, we want to say our thanks as well. I mean, with, without you, you're lot backing us. I mean, we wouldn't be able to do what we do, not only for yourself, but for us as well. So thanks. But That's the nice let's, bit yes, out of the way. let's get that out of the way. Um, Tenerife last week. You went over, um, spent some time with Ryan while he's training for his Br first British title defence. How were things going over there for him? Yeah, um, we had Andy Townend over uh, to spar with his uh, training manager, Steffi Bull. Um, bit ironic that he's fighting Craig Boxner in his next fight, but needs must. Um, and he, he was a, he was a crack and spar. Ryan is uh, Ryan is looking like a champion, um, training like a challenger, which he always will. You know, he's he, 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 you know, no stone unturned with him or any of his brothers. Everybody's there. Everybody's pushing everybody on. You know, usual usual stuff. The only difference is they're doing it in the sun. Um, I can't fault any of them, you know, they do 110%. Um, but getting back to Ryan, yeah, he's, he, he's looking really, really good. He's going to take a serious army down to York Hall. Um, you know, since he's been a champion, his, uh, the interest in Ryan has, has gone through the roof. And the, uh, to be fair, the interest in all the Walsh family has gone gone through the roof. You know, they've, they've always been big names in boxing, but they're, you know, the, the simple fact that two champions at the same time, you know, what more can we ask for? Obviously, you're close to the Walsh family. Um, something that sort of keeps getting brought up on the social media is Mitchell Smith has now lost, so that fight with Ryan Walsh possibly won't happen. Um, people are now starting to mention Michael Walsh. Do you reckon Michael would um, get back into training, get back into camp for a fight with Mitchell Smith? Michael Walsh is, is training all the time anyway. Um, first and foremost, I do not think that fight would be offered. I don't think that would happen. Um, there was never a lot of great offers coming for Michael, um, you know, when he was when he was flying in between injuries and stuff. But you know, I don't, I don't, you know, Mitchell Smith. To be honest, he, he put himself in a little bit of an awkward situation with with the talk, um, the criticism of, of you know Ryan Walsh and Samir, Their standards is, was wrong. Hopefully, from his own point of view, he's learnt that lesson. Um, he needs to rebuild, and he's you know what where where say maybe Ryan and um, Ryan Walsh and Mitchell would have been a, a crack and good fight that was all moving towards a big publicity fight. He, you know, he's he's down the picking order now. He knows that his promoters know that it's a big rebuilding job. Got to move on. So, to be fair, we're we're not you know we're not interested in in Mitchell. Let's, let's down to Mitchell to go away, do his thing, um, get himself back together, um, which I'm sure he will. He's around some decent people, you know. He's with the best promoters, so. Um, you know, I'm sure Frank would have told him exactly what he thinks. And um, I don't need to criticise Mitchell Smith. I don't need to say anything. He's not my business. You know, if he says things about my boxers, then I have my own thoughts. But, you know, but I think Ryan had his own thoughts on that as well. And, and Ryan would have dealt with whatever was put in front of him. But he's, you know, he's way down the pecking order now, obviously, from... And, and, and what everybody shouldn't forget, he isn't a featherweight. No. He's never made featherweight, so... You know, there's that was all um, hype. Was come back to to bite Mitchell, but you know, good luck to him. I hope he brings himself back, and I think he will. Um, you know, let's be concerned what we got in front of us. Final brother, Liam Walsh, um, unfortunate with in hand injury. Um, have yeah. you got an update on that and how things are going? We're just waiting for the all clear. The same with Nathan. Nathan's just got the all clear to punch. Uh, we're looking for the all cl uh, all clear. Still a little bit sore that knuckle. He's got a massive knuckle. Always had that from when he was a youngster, but you know, injured and has been niggling and niggling and and, and he's had the operation done. Hopefully, it won't be too long. He's he's always training. He's always fit. You know, he's been in Tenerife with us, training hard as always. Um, back now, but you know, it's, um, as soon as he's back, everyone will know. You know, and then. Uh, I, I think he'll be knocking on the world title door. That's obviously the plan. You know what Frank has said. 
um, the fight he'd like to make, and I don't think that'll be long before you, you see um, you see Liam Walsh in some serious fights. You touched on him a little bit there, Nathan Dale. Um, he's, he's been in the gym all the way through his injury, keep him fit. Um, he's now been given the all clear. Where, how do you see things sort of paving out for him now throughout 2016? Well, if, if everything goes well, he starts punching tomorrow. If everything goes well, there's a possibility he'll be on the uh, March the 4th show. Um, if that's um, a little bit too early, he'll be on the next show. But myself and Mervyn and, and, and John, we have got good plans for him. Um, and we're looking forward to uh, moving him right into that title picture. Brilliant. Well, thanks for your time, Graham. And, um yeah, we look forward to 2016. Yeah, Brilliant. Cheers. Thank you.